On May 9, 1999, there was a hip-hop riot. And guess who started it? Slim Shady, of course. We were in San Francisco, California, at the Fillmore when it happened. Slim was in the middle of a hype performance when a hater started heckling him. Slim took notice of the guy and retaliated by dissing him. The heckler continued and Slim got pissed. The next thing I know, Slim had jumped off the stage with a flying right cross. Unfortunately, he hit the wrong guy and then it was on. The crowd swallowed Slim like a giant mouth and I proceeded in after him. Slim was getting his ass whipped by the same people that had helped him sell triple platinum. When I waded into the furious crowd, I was punched. Then I turned to the SOB that had struck me and beat him into bloody unconsciousness. I had forgotten all about Slim. I had beaten this guy till he was out cold. The crowd could no longer support his weak legs. Immediately, pandemonium broke out. There were more people fighting in the crowd. DJ Head jumped in to fight. Billy, the sound man, left the booth to scrap. The Interscope Street team was throwing blows, and the Beat Nuts were kicking some ass. Young Z from the outsiders and I were back-to-back -back knocking motherfuckers out. Finally, I noticed Slim on the bottom of a shit-kicking pile with this big fella on top of him. Proof and I started wailing on this idiot. Proof kicked the guy in the head a few times, and I gave this dude some nice rib shots he won't ever forget. Finally, we picked Slim up and threw him back on the stage. We all had to fight to get to safety because the crowd had turned against us. I rushed Slim to the side of the stage and told Gus that we needed to get the fuck out of there. Gus said, the show must go on or they're going to kill our ass, and we all reluctantly agreed. We attempted to brush it off as the crowd shouted, Fuck you, Slim! Fuck you, Slim! Proof came to the rescue by grabbing the mic and hyping the crowd to another level. He said, Y'all motherfuckers like that shit! They screamed, Hell yeah! Proof stood side by side with George Clinton and the P-Funk All-Stars. He continued by telling the crowd that Detroit motherfuckers whoop ass. The crowd went nuts. DJ Head ripped the turntables with some hype mixing and scratching. When Slim came back on stage, the crowd showed genuine love like the riot never happened. Slim made the crowd go into overdrive by performing Still Don't Give a Fuck. The energy was unbelievable. Everywhere you looked, fans were crowd surfing and moshing in the pit. It was amazing to see a fickle crowd cause chaos and then release love for Slim. Slim gave the crowd two ovations that night and they deserved it. After the show, a satisfied crowd mobbed us. Some groupies actually thought that the big brawl was part of the show. We told him we always do that. That next day, we awoke with bumps, bruises, and scratches from the unforgettable riot.